Hey, what's up, dude? What do you want? Uh, I was wondering if I could get some more of those pills. <laughs> dude, you know what? You're always coming down here and asking me for pills. And I, I can't just give them away all the time, man. What do you need them for? Uh, I just I just have a lot of things I need to do. Did you not complete that paper yet? Oh, I haven't even started. <laughs> you know what? This is the last time I'm ever doing this for you. Alright? Okay. That's it. I'm not going to fucking do this again for you. I'm not your goddamn drug dealer. How many do you need? Uh, three. Well, yeah. you, always, you always need some kind of fix, man. You're just it's fucking ridiculous, man. Just. What? What are you doing, dude? Dude, that was three pills. You can't take three pills. That's gonna fuck you up real bad, man. No, I got a lot of things I gotta sort out. <laughs> no, dude, you, you could die or some shit, man. I don't even know. You know what? I, I don't even care. To, I need to be awake. The sophistication of the Harrier's engine means the pilot has a larger array of controls than most fighter aircraft. The United States Marine Corps has been an enthusiastic supporter of the jump jet concept. The Marines currently fly the AV-8B Harrier II a second generation of the aircraft developed in cooperation by British Aerospace and McDonnell Douglas. During the 1991 Gulf War, Harry units were the primary source of close air support for Marine ground force units. Feeling up to it now 